right, so here we're told that there's a 7,700 kilogram box car traveling at 14 meters per second, striking another car at rest. The two stick together and move off with the same speed of 5 meters per second. What is the mass of the second car? It's got a super cool picture going here. Box car. Those I can draw. I actually can't even draw those. You get the idea. Here's M1. Uh, this is the, going to be the one that's moving originally. And it crashes into a second car of mass M2, whose initial speed is zero. Okay, this is the before pick. Afterward, they collide and stick together. So, you know, they also shrunk apparently. Here's M1 and here is M2 and they now move at some other velocity. Uh, we'll call this V, V prime. Okay, they move off at V prime, which is five meters per second uh, initially. Uh, V1 is 14 meters per second. And the other piece of information that we know is that M1 is 7,700 kilograms. Okay, so this is a classic kind of collision problem. Uh, we're supposed to assume that there are no uh, significant external forces to our system, which is the system consists of the two boxcars. And so um, we are practicing using the conservation of momentum. All right, so conceptually, concepts we have here. The concepts are, this is a collision, and in nearly all of the collision problems we'll do, uh, collisions uh, really involve conservation of momentum. And conservation of momentum uh, will be um, more likely to be, is, is more often, used, whereas conservation of energy is sometimes used, but you need some additional information to know that you can use that. So collisions, conservation of momentum, let's just remember the equations that are relevant here. One would be the definition of momentum, P is the symbol we use for it, it's a vector, and it's given by the mass of that object times the velocity vector. Conservation of momentum simply tells you that whatever the total momentum is before, it's got to be equal to that momentum later. So I'll just generically write that as P total initial is equal to P total final. And again, these total momentums are just the sum of all the momenta of all the pieces. Okay, so let's just try to use conservation of momenta here and see if we can figure out what is M2. That's what we're trying to find. Okay, initially the momentum we have, we can just, let's be super uh, careful. Uh, P1 plus P2, that's before, is equal to the momentum after P1 prime plus P2 prime. In other words, MV1 plus MV2 is equal to M1V1 prime plus M2V2 prime. Now, what you'll notice is that I'm keeping the momenta of object one and object two separate, which you can because you still realize that they are two objects, but since they're stuck together, you're also free to think of them as one collective object which has a mass of m1 plus m2. You can see how that comes out by, from this uh, strategy we took here, we can simply factor out the v1 or the v2 prime because those things are equal. Really, we can just get rid of the subscript. So you can factor out the v prime and you realize this is the sum of m1 plus m2 times v prime. So you're free to think of them as two separate objects or one collective object. In any case, we're trying to find m2, which I apparently forgot to write here. Okay. So initially, v2 is zero, so this term is not there. And so what we have, let's focus on this line here. The one unknown is m2, let's solve for that. So we have m1 v1 minus m1 v1 prime and divide by v prime, that should be equal to m2. Again, I used this line to get there. Plugging in what m1 is, v1 and v1 prime, this is actually just v prime, excuse me, divided by v prime, you can, if you'd like, factor out an m1. Sometimes it's useful to do a little bit more algebra to see if this makes sense. So we can do that. We have what this first term is v1, over v prime, and this term is v prime over v prime, so this is minus one. And so at least now we can see that yes, m2 
should be proportional to m1, but in a way that's determined somehow by the ratio of the initial velocity and the final velocity, subtracting 1. We put all the numbers in, we'll find that this is close to 14,000 kilograms. 14,000 kilograms.